In this video, I'm going to show you one of the glitchiest user rushes in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now if you're new to the channel, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. My channel is all about becoming a better Madden 21 player, and if you're looking to get better at this game, I hope that my channel can help you do that. We upload videos every single day that are designed to give you strategies and tactics that you can apply to your own game to be able to become more effective. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, it's completely free to subscribe, and research has shown me that only a a small percentage of you guys have actually subscribed so be sure to take care of that that way you don't miss any of the videos and what we're talking about today is a defensive um, just a little bit of a, a a little bit of a tweak or nuance into something you're probably already running now I highly highly recommend the nickel 335 and 335 wide defense I believe it's the best defense in the entire game and I wrote an entire ebook on this defense I've been running this defense since June of Madden 20 this has been the best defense uh, by far in my personal opinion and if you haven't gotten this defense yet, uh, there is a link in the description that breaks down the entire defense. And today we're going to focus on one small little piece of it, which is a user rushing tactic. Not the one that you're probably expecting, that you've probably seen before. This is a little bit of a different user rush, um, and we're going to talk about why it can be very, very effective, specifically against the Gun Bunch offense. So all we're going to do is we're going to come out in nickel 335, and then we're going to audible to any of the plays out of 335 wide. Uh, I personally really like to do this out of cover four. And what you're going to notice is what we're all we're going to do is we're going to spread our line. We're going to crash our defensive line out. We're going to blitz all of our linebackers. And then we're just going to basically press twice and kind of use this linebacker right down here, and we're going to click off. You see that he'll kind of stick down here, right? If you get him right behind here, you really want him to stay back down here. But, again, this is fine if he's right there. And then all you're going to basically do is you're going to click onto this linebacker right here, put him into a purple zone, and at the snap of the ball, you should be able to get instant pressure off of that left side edge. You'll see right here, get him in that purple zone. And we should get that instant pressure. Now, the only reason that that wouldn't work, um, the only reason that that might not work is because we probably didn't need or we probably needed to contain here. And, again, I like to, again, spread line, crash line out, blitz all your linebackers, bring this guy down right about here, and then you're going to basically QB contain once you put the purple zones out there. So once you put those purple zones out there, that's where you're going to QB contain. I like to set up essentially a cover, a, a roll coverage just like this right here. And the snap of the ball, as long as that running back uh, goes out on a route, you're just going to come right free off the edge right there, as you can see. Now, it's a little bit tricky to show the user rush with uh, two controllers, but there's actually some things that I wanted to talk with you a little bit about why this works and how you can make it even better. So the biggest reason why this works is because we're essentially overloading the left side. So you could actually do this off of both sides if you wanted to. So let's say that the bunch, let's say that they flip the bunch, right? But you don't want to flip your defense. The same kind of theory can apply. So, again, we're going to move this guy, you know, kind of get these backers down. And it might not work here because our linebacker on the right side is misaligned. But, again, you're just going to basically QB contain, snap the ball, come off the edge. And, again, that time it didn't work because of the misalignment. But you'll see that this you'll see that this defense is uh, very, very powerful. If you watch any um, any Friday night football or anything with a lot of pro players playing, you will see that they will use this tactic occasionally. Because, again, a lot of people are used to seeing your user kind of stand right here. So you want them to kind of stand right here. But now you're going to click off, QB contain, and then you see here I'm going to be able to run right in off the edge and essentially try to get that user sack off the off that left side. Now I do want to show you a couple things. First and foremost, if they block the running back, okay, I just want to show you kind of what that looks like. So if they block the running back, you you should see here again we got that both linebackers on the edge. You see that you can actually get this in if they block the running back. The trick to getting it in if they block the running back is the running back is essentially going to step up into the A gap, which is going to allow the quarterback or the, the left tackle to get out there and block you. So you have to basically do some adjusting on the fly. The biggest thing that you can do as far as adjusting on the fly here, again, let me show you blocked running back out, it brought blocked running back and all. I'm just going to widen out. I'm going to widen out and around and come around and get him, as you can see right there. 
okay? So that's how you deal with a blocked running back. The beauty of this is I really like this. To, I like to use this tactic as a surprise tactic. You do this one time to somebody in a game, and I'm guaranteeing you they will fear this the entire game. So maybe early on the first drive or something like that, I'll do this. Now it gets max protect, same kind of thing. You can still pressure the pocket. As you can see here, I can run around the running back and get in there, so to force them to have to step up in the pocket if they're not currently doing so. Now another little trick that you can use with this is to shift your D-line to a side. So as you can see here, I'm going to shift my D-line to the side that I want to come off of. And then I'm going to basically globally blitz the linebackers. And as you can see, the running back comes underneath into the A-gap, as you can see right there. This is going to really force that heavy, heavy uh, A-gap pressure. And as you can see here, you're going to get instant pressure off the edge with that user rush if you were to use it that way as well. So those are some other things that you can do. And the last thing I want to show you is a two-man user rush. This is nowhere near as effective or as powerful, but it is a tactic that I really, really like to try uh, and just kind of show them occasionally. Uh, and the reason why I like this so much out of this Cover 4 show too is because these deep inside quarters play very, very well. They play very, very effectively. Uh, and so as you can see here, as long as I can get this... Um, this quarter flat to go back where he needs to be. Uh, I'm going to put him in a sing flat over there on that right side. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into essentially a cover two coverage with a deep middle third right there. And then again, I'm going to basically QB contain my rush. And the big trick here is to have a vertical hook. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have a three reg hook from that left side defensive tackle. So we're only really blitzing three people um, if you count your user rush. And again, all you're going to do is try to get outside here. This is a more passive version of it, but something I really, really do think works really well. So it's snap a ball. I'm just going to run straight up and around, straight up and around. And as you can see, I'm able to get the user sack. So you can use both of these user rushes in combination with one another um, to get a lot, a lot of pressure uh, at your opponent. Okay, that's that's one of the beauties of this 335 wide is if you can really master these user rushes, these user rushes are super, super effective. You can see here, I mean, you know, you can get super, super fast pressure as you can see. So, anyways, those are a little bit of a tutorial on how to use a rush out of the 335 wide. There's obviously several other tactics. That that you can use to get pressure uh, from the 335 wide defense. We break down every single way that you can get pressure in my nickel 335 wide ebook. We also show you how to stop the run, how to stop a lot of the meta formations, and how to have some of the best coverage principles and tactics in the entire game. So if you haven't picked up that defensive guide, there is a link to that in the description that you can check it out. Also, really quickly, if you would like to get a free sample to the defensive ebook, go ahead and hit me up via text message. My cell phone number is 812 216 3644. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and we will see you guys on our live stream tonight right here on YouTube at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time.